All right, um, in this video, we'll be looking at o question six. It's um, uh, trigonometric functions that are seen a cosine graph as well as a tan graph. So the graphs of the function f of x and g of x um, for the interval of minus 180 to 180 are sketched below. The graphs intersect at p and q. Okay, in the description below, you also find um, links for other questions in one record dealer for this question paper. Now, with 6.1, but you write down the range of f, right? So now we'll graph f. Graph f is this cosine graph, right? Is this cosine graph. So it range here to one, it's between 3 and negative 3. But now I will a range. So y element of negative three negative three uh, negative three and three included. So the negative three and the three are included, right? Or y palaso. Uh, negative 3 less than or equal to y, y less than or equal to 3. So there's two ways. It's either Usevinsa in notation, uh, Usevinsa interval notation, or Usevinsa ama inequalities. Right, 6.2. 6.2, but if m is minus 45 degrees and minus 1 lies on g, so now G like it's a point one point M I'm a corner it's a corner it's minus forty five minus one determine the value of C right okay so U G of X is the equation with um value C so G of X is equal to C tan theta and then we have the coordinate M which is minus forty five degrees and minus 1. So the y value is negative 1 equal to c tan minus 45 degrees. Let's see. Minus 1 is equal to what is minus 45 degrees? Tan minus 45 degrees is equal to its negative 1. So c minus 1. Just in thinking in the substitute the values or coordinate m so that in calculate over and you see so divide up both sides by a negative one c is equal to one so this is our final answer uh, and then 6.3 write down the values of a and b a and b seem to go p go go log on go f of x so 6.3 f of x is equal to a cos b theta um b theta so let's see let's see so now the a value is over equal to three is going to be equal to to three since the range so sorry since the amplitude for f is what is three or the highest point is what is three, so that mean that, that means a weight is over equal to three. Now for b, b has to do with e. What's this? Has to do with our period. See as with the period, see calculator as while well, if bongas a period, see calculator. There's a there's a formula for a period. A period is equal to what is the period for a cosine graph is 360 divided by the value of b, this value of b. So what is the period for the graph linear? The period is 360 equal to 360 divided by b. As the period is 360, I'm going to talk about your graph, your final and apparent graph. Uh, it touch a good 90 degrees, it ends at a turning point, or it turn a good 180 degrees, 
izobu yi intersect ku 270 and then yenzo yi pindi yi 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 even a turning point with 360 so that makes it a um, so that makes our period to be 360 so graph here is shift down horizontally vertically here is the parent function here but the only change here is it's this a the a is 3 right so therefore our b is going to be equal to 1 right is going to be equal to 1 so b is equal to 1 in this case oh why pega ngale ndlela le why pega ngale ndlela le look at this point look at this point lena and then it graph here to it it increases basically at 10 ala with 3 then it comes back to this point again so this wave this part of the wave is a complete wave for the cosine graph right is a complete wave for this cosine graph so in order to identify e loganji e e period again we have 180 degrees minus minus 180 so so t 180 subtract 180 degrees answer is equal to 360 so it means our period is also 360 but you need to identify a complete wave so this is the throw this plus this signifies something like this and then even a peak so it's a complete wave so that's another way we beg i get this thing so here b is equal to one a is equal to three 6.4 determine the coordinates for q 6.4 the coordinates for q now uh, it's x and y straight deal haha <laughs> haha yes, okay the q is going to be equal to there's going to be an x value and then the y value it's going to be the same as this one so give about negative one negative one point six negative one point six so this point of intersection and this point of intersection is also it asymmetrical around this asymptote right around this asymptote so much see for now the x coordinate the x coordinate new it since there's a symmetry between up in oban in q around this asymptote so lana this is the x coordinate for p ubani 50 degrees right 58 degrees so what is the difference between 90 no 58 in it's how many degrees from p to this asymptote is is what it's 90 90 subtract 58 answer over 32 so there's a 32 degree distance between asymptote and this point p and then from lana the asymptote to this q there's going to be also one or 32 degrees so in order to find a coordinate laga x for q so 90 degrees plus this 32 is osnigeza our x coordinate so a 90 plus 32 degrees is equal 122 degrees so these are the coordinates for q now see our 6.5 6.5 uh, uh, 6.5 if k lies on f such that km is parallel to the y axis calculate the length km all right okay. now i can create some space okay now 6.5 let's go back to the graph now km lana in this question but in it but if k lies on f k lies on f now k lana Okay, sim tola go p sim tola on. Okay, sim tola go graph f. 
uh, go graph f and then we say that is such that km is parallel to the y-axis this length is parallel to the y-axis good 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 okay calculate the length km so for the fact to go to km is parallel to the y-axis in order to find e this okay i think palama coordinates got k color the coordinates for k was you pay one hmm did they oh okay back i was paying one but anyways now i calculate the coordinates for k it's um i think calling our m since our m is yawazi it's negative 45 degrees minus one so k the x value give about what in give about 45 degrees since this line is parallel to the y axis so the x for m is of an no x for k now the y value since okay so we lie on graph f we can calculate we can calculate the y coordinate for k so we substitute into this equation ga f so the equation got f it's three cos cos one for b the one will be times negative 45 degrees answer is three square root two over two three square root two over two now big argument okay m was over equal to k subtract or i think it k y the y value for k subtract the k <laughs> subtract the m um the y coordinate for m so sizoti um the y coordinate for k is 3 square root 2 divided by 2 minus in bracket the y coordinate for m is negative 1 this is equal to uh, 3 square root 2 divided by 2 plus 1. This is equal to, as calculated, plus 1. This is equal to, plus 1. Ah, so, here yeah, so, so, is it 2 plus 3 square root 2, is it? Yeah, divided by... Two. This is our answer. But so would see round it off to three decimal places, two decimal places. So no more shear line. It's still fine. If the system of axis is shifted forty-five degrees to the left and the graphs remain fixed, write down the equation that that is now represented by graph F. So now graph F for six point six. O graph f of x is over equal to 3 cos in bracket it's theta since e shift 45 degrees to the left we are going to say minus 45 degrees why over back 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 let's go back to the system of axis so in Tabayenza, what are the system of axis by shifting to the left? But the graph it means you move to the right. And if you graph you move to the right, we are subtract by the amount of or by the number of degrees a shifting eye. So Lana it's a horizontal shift, graph it move to the right. So so subtract on 45 degrees go theta. So 6.6 .6 is our last question for question six. Um, this concludes our video um, this concludes our lesson for today so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching now we enjoy this video please leave a like um, now when a question as discuss in the comment section um, now we enjoy this video so yeah um, also don't forget to subscribe yes um, so yeah as one another video once again thanks for watching